Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Ryzen 3 2200G APU and I want to test out a few PS2 games. I've had a lot of requests for these two specific games, but I've also thrown in one of my favorite. I did tons of tests on this unit. I'll leave a playlist in the description. I also did a build video if you want to check it out and I'll leave the specs in the description. So for the CPU, we have the 2200G with Radeon Vega graphics. I do not have this overclocked. Everything's at the stock speed. Dual channel, 3400 megahertz DDR4 RAM, and the GPU is the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. Everything stock. I haven't dedicated two gigabytes of RAM to the GPU or anything like that. We're gonna get in here and test a few PS2 games. Now I'm using PC SX2 1.4.0. I'll be testing. Gran Turismo 4, Shadow of the Colossus, and one of my favorite games of all time, Automotalista. There are a few really hard PS2 games to emulate. Gran Turismo 4 and Shadow of the Colossus definitely being two of those. We're going to get right in here. Config, Video, Plugin Settings. So I'm going to go to 2x resolution to start out with Gran Turismo 4. I did try OpenGL. OpenGL performance is not that great with this APU. DirectX 9 works pretty well, but I chose DirectX 11 because it seemed to work better than any of the other ones. Everything else set to stock. There are tweaks you can do to the PS2 emulator to get it to run a little better, but I wanted to leave it just like this and show you how it performs. I do have Fraps running, not to record the screen, only to show the FPS so it's not taking any CPU away. System, make sure I have Gran Turismo 4 selected. I'm going to boot it fast. Just going to go window full. I did turn the music off. Let me load that state up. Speed of the emulator is here. FPS is listed here. DX11, and I have FPS listed here also. I am at 2x resolution doesn't look as great as it could, but we can bump it up a little bit and we will in just a second. You'll notice a little stutter here when we start to play. Kind of turned the screen pink for a second there. Man, I'm so used to playing Forza that, uh, Woo! This is feeling really weird here. But it's way better than I thought it would be. We're at 60 FPS. Does dip down every once in a while. We get around this corner and then we will swap the resolution out. We'll go a little bit higher with it. We're going to go to... 3x from 2. Click OK. Everything should be cleaned up a lot. Looks a lot better like this. I want to get up to these cars if I can. It does make a difference when there's more stuff on screen. And that's it for me. I'm going to restart this. But I'm going to go to 4x resolution. Four X. I'm not sure how it's going to handle it. Already dipping way down. It might catch back up though. I'm 
and that get ready to drive is still right on screen. Yeah, 4X is not going to be too great for this. So earlier today, I did try some overclocking, and there's not much of an improvement. I took the GPU up to 1600 megahertz, and I took the CPU up to 3.9. Didn't make much of a difference at all. Maybe 2-3 FPS. So this is perfectly playable at 2-3x to X resolution. And I think it looks pretty good. There are other modifications you can do to the PS2 emulator to make things run a little smoother. But I wanted to do this straight out of the box. We're going to move over to the next game. And that game is going to be Shadow of the Colossus. This is a really hard one to emulate. So we're at 4x resolution right now, and as you can see, it is not playable. Especially when we start looking over this way, get to 18 FPS. But I do want to show some of the people who think that the CPU is the most important part of these newer emulators. We are maxing this GPU out. So if I did add a 1050, there's a possibility we could get 60 FPS out of this running it at 2 or 3x resolution. The CPU definitely plays a big part in emulation, but for these newer emulators like PS2, Wii U, PS3, the GPU is almost just as important, if not more. We're going to bump this resolution down a little bit and see if it helps. I do not think it's going to. We're only at 20 FPS here, so I'm going to go all the way down. We're going to go to 1, or native. Click OK. It helps out, but we still don't have full speed emulation. This is just one of those that is really hard to emulate. We'll check that. GPU usage. Now we're at about 60%, 42 on the CPU. So it really does make a big difference on your GPU choice when you're emulating PS2, especially when you're running DirectX 11 or DirectX 9, even OpenGL. But this won't be playable on the 2200G unless you add a dedicated GPU. Finally, I want to test one of my favorite games. I need to kind of set this up though. I'm going to go to 5x resolution. So I'm at 5x resolution right now, holding pretty steady. In a previous video I did test God of War, Tekken 5, and a couple other games. They work great. You will run into some games that are pretty much unplayable though. And that's a given with pretty much every emulator. Some of them just aren't optimized for certain games. But this, at 5x resolution, is awesome. I really wish that Capcom would bring this game back. And it runs perfect at 5x resolution on the Ryzen 2200G APU. So I did do a video on Wii U, uh, PS3 emulation, all kinds of different things, Dreamcast. If you're interested in checking that out, links for those videos are in the description. I'll actually just add a link to a playlist and everything's there kind of scroll through and see how it performs but for 99 bucks this is an awesome little APU it's a great budget starter later on down the road you can always add a discrete GPU like a 1060 or a 1070 and you're gonna definitely increase performance with everything so that's it for this video guys I really appreciate you watching I had a lot of requests to test out Shadow of the Colossus and Gran Turismo 4 and as you saw, Gran Turismo 4 is playable at 2 to 3. Shadow of the Colossus is not playable without a discrete GPU. And I can give that a test. I do have an extra 1050 Ti laying around. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.